Okay, boys and girls, just a few tips and tricks about your peace poster. Um, we've shown you how to draw the boots. And we have traced our boots. All right, so once we traced our boots, and we traced our world, what we're doing is we're using a clean sheet of paper here, and we're going to transfer our world to our poster. Okay, make sure it's in the right direction. All right, once you get that traced on there, what you can do is you can take your boots that you've traced and you can place them down below or you can kind of slide them up and down and see how much space you want it to take up on your poster. Then you would transfer your boots to your um, poster also. You can also draw piece symbols on your tracing paper and transfer them all over your poster in different sizes. And I'll show you what this looks like because I actually did this poster, okay? So this is the poster that I did um, with the boots. So I drew the boots in here for service. Steel toe boots recommend, uh, represent service for a lot of different things like firefighters wear to steel toe boots, uh, armed services, um, Firefighters, police officers, um, EMS workers, people who work on the rescue squads and so forth. Uh, lots of different services. And these lines back here represent the different lines of service. Uh, green represents the army, blue police officers, and the red firefighters, and the white is EMS officers and correction officers. Okay, and the yellow has a, a representation, but I can't remember what it is right now unless I go look. But anyway, I could have drawn national monuments in the side here. That would have made it a little bit more elaborate. Um, I also included world here by drawing dog tags. Uh, most of our servicemen in the Army and uh, different uh, military branches have dog tags to identify them by. And instead of putting their names, I put different country flags on those. So that actually represents service and the world. So we have world represented by the globe and the flags and the dog tags. We have peace represented by the peace symbols throughout the poster and the little white doves. And then we have service represented by the boots and the stripes in the background. If anybody would want to do this poster, I welcome you to do it. This is my idea and I'm giving it to you. So I wish you luck. I hope everybody has a great poster. All right. Here's another idea that I came up with, the peace poster here. Um, I decided that service was recommend, re, uh, represented by the religious serv services that we have. And um, most of our churches and things like that do have a service to our communities. 
Uh, they give food, they take care of people who are sick, and so forth. So uh, I thought that that would be a good thing to throw in here. Um, you can trace your hands. You can also trace your hand to do the peace symbol. I have a book drawn out in the bottom to illustrate the Bible, but do not put any words in that because you'll be disqualified. I have a cross laying in the hand and a cross on the back of the hand representing service. We also have a peace dove over, hovering over the world and then the peace symbols again. So you have service, world, and peace represented in this poster too. And if you wanted to do a poster like this, I really welcome you to do it. And the way that you do the skin tones and the hands are um, you color with a orange regular watercolor marker like a Crayola and you color around the edges and then take your finger and kind of smudge it in to create that smooth skin tone. Okay, so that's another poster idea that you might want to do. We also did these posters in the past, and these posters right here, I still have my rough draft attached to the back of it because I used that to put it up on this with the tracing paper after I got it all together. And so after I got my poster together and I transferred it here and was able to color it in the background, I used the watercolor markers to create this unique texture background so you don't see all those Sharpie or marker marks. Also on this plastic service surface that you have to work with, you cannot just color with the watercolor markers. You have to rub it in and kind of stain the plastic with it. And these faces were done the same way. You just color a little orange around the areas of the face and then take your finger and kind of gently smudge it in. It's sort of like putting makeup on. So that's how those faces were done. And this poster would actually serve really well for the um, uh, poster contest theme this year piece through service, uh, our leaders of our countries, uh, different countries, they are serving our country and to the best um, that they can, I hope. And so certainly these would represent service. And so this would be a great poster for this year. So if anybody's interested in getting these faces, I can give you these faces here and uh, you're welcome to try this one as well. Um, here we have another poster from years past. This, the theme for this one was Kindness Matters. This is kind of a simple poster idea. Uh, we used animals that year instead of people. It was a much easier uh, way to go about this. But as you can see here, uh, the Sharpie or permanent markers here are the detail. I outlined in Sharpie here and then colored the black and white stripes and the red and white stripes. But everything else is done in watercolor markers and colored pencil. All this is colored pencil. And then we have the clouds here. That's done with your watercolor markers as well. And I think I'm gonna give a little demonstration on that a little bit later on so that you can see how to color this. You just take and rub it in, rub it in. Let's stain it in and leave some areas white. 
you can experiment with that too. So if you get a chance, try that. All right, and I look forward to seeing what you can do. Remember, start out simple, trace your hand, draw the world, uh, draw the world. Uh, there's a video on there for how to draw the globe, so it's not really as hard as you think. Make sure you're coloring all the way out to the edges. We wanna make sure you're coloring all the way out to the edges and you're filling your poster with large items. So let's please draw large and make sure your things are recognizable. It'll be easier to color that way also. Okay, I look forward to seeing what you do. Thanks.